<laughs> Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Grand Cross video. Getting so many out today and one of them will be now, which is Super Awakening. And uh, I want to wait to Global to come out first before I start Super Awakening things. Because, uh, well... I want to showcase it, right? I mean, I might as well do it on Global when it's out rather than making like just, you know, do it on JP again because there's no real point because most of my characters are Super Awakened. Now, what does Super Awakened do if you don't really know too much about it? Since now we have like the full translation because it's now in English. Uh, let me go to who do I want to do? I guess Aaron. Because I want to showcase him later on, so maybe I'll do it. But to be fair, I'm not Wales, so I don't have that many stuff. But uh, I'd say your first thing you want to do when you're doing your Super Awakened stuff is spend all your gold, co your gold coins. If I head to the coin shop, let me see which I do have. Okay, 270. I think I was on 400, so I have spent quite a bit, and I've done a few pulls in, pre in preparation. Oh, gold was on sale. So I did uh, save a bunch of gold coins in preparation, and I did a lot more summons just to get some preparation for uh, this, this Super Awakening. Because gold coins, believe it or not, these are like the best value, because you just get so many of it, and it's just really good. Um, so firstly, who do you Super Awaken first? Um, honestly, I... Maybe, I, I, I'll try and be a bit different, but see, <laughs> Aaron, he's really cheap. Like, you can see here, it costs 150 and uh, if you go through the, the progression, it's really cheap to max him out. I mean, it's a little bit more expensive uh, but because for what it is, so maybe not doing first since no one really uses Aaron. But uh, for Red Demons, he's not bad. He's going he's, he's gonna to do pretty good. Like, just use him, Super Awakened. Uh, Gron is, maybe it's just me because I, I do have it. Um, I do have you are gear for Eren, so obviously it's going to work very well with my SR1, and I do have cosmetics, so he can, he's going to be quite good. Honestly, one of my first picks will be Eren, but probably not the same for all of you. Now, obviously, let me just get this out there. Um, Super Waken is a massive CC boost, and like, it's too much, to be fair. So if you're going to get anything, it's going to get you above the 3 mil mark. Honestly, look how close I am. I think I was on 200, or well, 2.8 mil, so I've already shot up like 80k just from doing like these four. And bro, look at the stats. 51k boys what are you saying like this is mad what super awakening does i uh, grab the other cosmetics but yeah super awakening is insane let me see my lost vein actually 50k so elizabeth has so much hp man obviously i have hp set on her so she can have a lot more cc so firstly who do you super awaken well srs do cost less but to be fair you're not gonna reuse too much sr so probably do a second like second first uh obviously the main thing is probably this feature here Ungeared PvP. If people still play it, I mean, I get into it now and again, so it's not my uh, my biggest thing. But I'm on 225. Like, that's insane. I'm not bringing any uh, any CC food. Like, that's what I normally get if I bring, like, CC food. So it's just mad to think that this is what we're going to have now. And uh, I can casually get over 200k CC now on uh, my Fight Festival team if I bring the right units who have gear. Which is like, I mean, after playing JP for a while and i saw i was getting what 250k cc 240k cc uh from one of my teams with super awakens and then going to global and seeing my team run like 180 190 was kind of weird so I'm, I'm happy this is in the game now because seeing the 200k mark is just kind of a nice thing to see uh but yeah firstly just focus on your pvp team you don't really need to focus on pve since well it's pve there's nothing really too challenging about pve where you have to super awaken stuff maybe you're a bit behind the curve and your gear isn't too great to where you want to give the little boost up uh so at that point i probably recommend derriere because she's definitely one of the best characters for no she is the best character for pve granted obviously both best of both worlds with elizabeth and lost fame so you can just do those those two and they also work very well with pvp and go for i'd recommend a super awaken a one go for first uh, I was in a showcase with the red one, so I was obviously wanted to use him. Uh, but it doesn't really matter which one you use, you can use both. But just grind and bear in mind, depending on what team you do use, if you can't really use Green Gulf as passive, or if you have alt removal like I had with Oslo and Hawk here, uh, I I'd rather brought the red one since he is 6'6. Six, six. And uh, yeah, pretty much just start with your PvE team. So let me. What would my, my PvP team be? Okay, so you can see here, this is my team for PvP, and a uh, couple of you to notice, obviously, if you're using King Association, which uh, you may not use too often, but at least for Global right now, uh, Pierce teams are going to be running around quite rampant, uh, obviously, in the future, it does get a little bit less uh, common, but still, you definitely want to do it, so, considering you can't use, you know, King, what's the best option here, so you can use Slater, uh, I'm working on this guy to get him 6-6, six, six, so I'll probably end up switching over to him. So uh, maybe I won't super awaken the SR Slayer, but he's definitely a good option. Plus, SR Slayer, don't underestimate him. He's definitely one of the, probably the second best SR in the game. Uh, you could use Merlin, but just bear in mind, it does increase crit chance, which you do not want to redo really because you're going to crit the Lost Vein, which is not always a good thing to do. Uh, so yeah, Slayer, plus any associations. Bear in mind, you want to have 6-6. Six, six, so uh, obviously, Aaron, I don't really have... I don't want to use Lifesteal or Regeneration, so... um. I'm not going to bring these. If I had uh, 
Zelda is geared up, I probably would. So pretty much my best character would put, actually, I'm not gonna do that. I'll probably do Escanor. So Escanor the... So Escanor probably put in since he is 6'6 and he's got a pretty good stats overall. So getting him Super Wicked is gonna give my Lost Wing a massive boost as well. And he obviously apart from the main team, definitely start with these four people at the front. Uh, Cause these are the people you're using. And then probably secondly, Get your 6-6 six, six units that are already maxed out that you use for association. Put them up and give them Super Awakening. Uh, so that's 8 people. That's quite expensive. Uh, granted, I've only done, what, 4? I've barely done 4, actually. So I probably have enough to do one team. But the team I always use is always just it's always random. I'm always using Swipping Out Kyo. I'm always using King. Go for I'm always Swipping Between Things. So for free to play people, you're probably actually really lucky. Because, well, you, you, you only have one main team. So you can just go ahead and do that. Um, so after PvP, I guess farming, uh, book farming is a massive thing as well, so to be fair, I think even now we still one-shot, maybe uh, not on some stages, but uh, I guess Rugal and Demon Melly, you can super wicked those just to get more um, pierce and more damage, and uh, let me check, does it increase pierce? So he increases crit damage, which for Demon Melly is actually quite good, because he, he actually does crit quite a bit, and that's pretty good. Uh, what's Lost Fane do? Okay, so obviously for PvP, that will obviously coincide with PvE. So you're kind of lucky enough to wear, well, the main units you will use in PvP, you can use in PvE as well. But Dairy Area will be the first one. Plus clearing, uh, honestly, I think the best part, I mean, maybe this is just me, right? Maybe it's just me. One of the best parts about the Super Awakening is getting, you know, Eskinor, getting uh, Green Skinny King if you use them in Grey Demons. And obviously my SR Aaron, Slater, any blue unit, just to clear the demons fast. Like, if you don't know, clearing uh, Grey Demons and Red Demons... So long. Crimson is really easy because, well, you have Dereri who just nukes turn one. And, uh, well, I guess after a few turns. So she's chilling. She's all right. But clearing the red and gray demons now is going to be so easy. And uh, I might do some streams trying to get, just, just do my uh, raid demons because uh, I, I, I need some resources, especially trying to level up my gear. And, uh, yeah, that is pretty much it for Super Awakening. Um, honestly, Zeldris. Zeldris probably one of the best ones as well. A really, really good count right now for the, what's it, the All Rush meta to where he's like one of the best characters to use. Plus his, uh, his K is so good. He, I think he has one of the base, the best highest stats in the game. So you're always going to start kind of first with him. Uh, I will be showcasing this girl, by the way. That's why I might be giving, oh, should I give Aaron now? I think I will, you know. Should we, should we, should we do Aaron? Yeah, let's do it for the video because I'm going to showcase him anyway. Uh, so I, what I want to do is, okay, go for bro. I hate, you hate to see it, but I have him 6-6, six, six, so I have to spend the coin. Like, there's no point keeping in it. So, I guess the annoying thing is, I have to 6-6 six, six him. Or, I guess, I say 6. Uh, four-star awaken him. And then also do the, the SR Aaron, which is kind of annoying. But, luckily enough for me, he is 6-6. Six, six, so I don't have to do that stupid uh, unlock system. So, it's me quite cheap. Like, I think uh, Lost Fane. Okay, I want to keep those. Uh, Lost Fane and, uh, and my uh, Elizabeth did cost quite a bit since, well, they're not, um, they weren't 4-6. Especially Elizabeth. Elizabeth was quite expensive. Okay, so now I'm just going to use all these coins. You can see here, obviously stacking up over months of saving these coins. Get myself a cheeky, uh, okay, that's quite a bit, almost 100. But there we go, a free four-star wake without needing purple coins. So Eren is, uh, let me see his stats now, actually. Attack, crit chance, okay, crit chance is actually kind of good, because uh, if he does crit, he does quite a bit of damage. Plus his defense can be pretty good now, especially in his Titan form. Let's switch over here. So uh, crit damage here is insane. 30%. Okay, so, uh, Giant, by the way, that's what I'm saying. I really want to use him with Red Dian. Uh, let's see his stats. Okay, let's put some gear on him. 48k, boys. What? I mean, my... Okay, I kind of I, I kind of did bad gear for him, to be fair. I guess kind of the start of my gear, my gear hype, so I was just kind of giving him bad stuff. So maybe I'll re-roll a bunch of... Okay, that was weird. I thought I, thought I could change the stats there. Uh, yeah, overall not, I mean, pretty good stuff, but I don't have that many anvils, so I might save those, because I am working on Elizabeth. Uh, I will be doing a showcase literally right after this, showcasing the Elizabeth and thing, but bro, look at the rolls and these, like, it's insane. Yeah, it's mad. So, uh, yeah, that is all for today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, hopefully it helped out. Obviously, it wasn't a massive thing, but I just want to get my opinion out there and get the video out. So, if someone wants to get an F another opinion on what the Super Awakened first, uh, just focus on your PvP team. It doesn't matter what it is. Now, granted, if you haven't done it already, head to the exchange shop to where you can exchange your, your Awakening gems, where you can see it, boom. Oh, wait, did it only limit five? Nah, that's, okay, I hope that's not true. So, you limit to how much you can get. What the hell? So that means you have to spend... Oh, that's kind of muggy, not going to lie. I mean, to be fair, I'm probably going to get a lot of gold from that, but still, I don't really need it. I'm a 37 mil. Wait, hang on. I thought it was an 87. Oh, no, that's just my JP account. Okay, but...
But yeah, um, that is all for today. Let me know. He, he, you're going to see Breaking first. Obviously, my first one was Elizabeth and Lost Vane. I'm sure most of you will probably do the same. And uh, yeah, just another opinion out there if you want to consider who you're Super Breaking first. Uh, def honestly, not too bad to Super Breaking some SRs like Eren, just to clear uh, the, the Red Demons faster. Uh, Green King, if you use him, Escanor. Um, just, just better characters. Save some stuff though, because you never know when you need to Super Breaking someone for like final bosses or anything that come out in the future. Definitely start saving coins. Don't just spend them all. Uh, but yeah, get your main team focused up first, since especially if you're free to play or if you even cheat the player where you have one main team focus on that first because pvp is the most important part you don't really need it for pve it just makes a little bit things a little bit faster a little bit better farming etc just it's, it's making everything a little bit easier so not the worst update uh, i'm kind of happy it's here but it is what it is so yeah thank you guys for watching and peace